Welcome to Testera's Nerf Room. So, you've read the title, you've seen the thumbnail, you're probably wondering what has taken me so long to get to this blaster. Simply put, this is my favorite blaster in my collection. It is a very important blaster to me, and one that if I didn't have this collection wouldn't feel complete. I'm happy that I have two, because it honestly feels a lot more full with it in it. I wanted to make sure that my review style was as established as it was possibly going to get. I wanted to make sure that it was in broad daylight, that my lighting was good, that my mood was happy, that I was feeling fully up to myself, because I want to put the most quality possible into this review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the N-Strike Elite Strongarm, a blaster that I cannot give enough praise to for being the best blaster I think Nerf has and will ever, ever make. So the Strongarm, a blaster released in 2012 under the N-Strike Elite series as one of the first releases in that series, immediately released too much praise because this was basically a Maverick doing everything better than the Maverick could possibly do. And at the end of this video, I'm going to explain why this is my favorite blaster and why we'll never have a blaster that I like more than this. Yes, even the Double Punch can't compete with this. But first, we got to start with the design. And I got to say, this is the best blaster to look at ever. This is a Gen 1 strong arm, so it has more detail than something like the Gen 2, which I also conveniently have. This is my Gen 2, this is the Gen 1, and you can see the Gen 1 has a lot of extra details on it, so that's why I'm using this one as a reference. It looks good. Not only does it keep the general proportions of the Maverick, but it just makes everything about the Maverick's design sleeker, smoother, better looking, better design, more interesting to look at. It is a futuristic looking blaster, and it takes itself seriously. That's one thing about modern Nerf blasters that really sucks. They don't take themselves seriously. Like, for example, this, this Fortnite one up here. It looks so ridiculous, you can't even really tell what's going on. A lot of the Elite 2.0 blasters, even though, even like the Double Punch, like, what is going on with this design? It is so huge at the front and so tiny at the back. This design looks like it's made for kids. This is taking itself very seriously, and I love that about the strong arm. It looks like a toy, but it also looks like a professional dart blaster. It is such a nice looking design, and the Gen 1 strong arms copy every detail on both sides, because this was a time when Hasbro actually cared about their products. I can't love this design enough. Every single bit of it blends together perfectly. The grip being this dark gray with this white stripe on it to make it look as nice as possible. The orange trigger, the super iconic neon orange cylinder right up at the front. The sort of swept back and sleek boxy style this blaster has. The priming handle being a light gray with this dark gray stripe on it. The big white stripe on the side, like everything on this blaster screams icon. It is such an iconic design. I can't get enough out of it. It's just, ah, oh, it's so good. I could gush about the design for days. But we gotta continue and talk about the ergonomics. Yup, even on pistols, they did this style of grip, and it works wonders on the strong arm. This is one of the most comfortable sidearms I've ever used. And here's the funny thing. Originally, I didn't really like this grip that much. I thought it was way too big and way too angular for my hands, mainly because I was a tiny little kid when I got this blaster. My hands are more reasonably sized now, and I've grown into the strong arms ergonomics. And I personally think that this grip is actually perfectly designed for this blaster. The grip is so smooth and filleted on every side. It's got a finger troil right there. The distance from the back to where the trigger is, is perfect. To make it as comfortable and usable as a kind of like firearm style grip, it is so good. I can't explain how good the grip is without you actually using it. And because this is a Gen 1, it's polished to make it even nicer and smoother on your hand. I just, oh, it's so good. The priming handle kind of sucks, that's the one thing that I don't like about this blaster is the priming handle. It's got these triangular details that are just really uncomfortably sharp on the sides, so it can actually be a little painful if you squeeze it too tight. Luckily though, you don't really have to squeeze it that much because the spring load isn't that much. Spring return, you get the point. So how does this blaster work? Well first, you press this button on the side and you can do this, which already makes this blaster worth the money. Then you can load up to six darts in. 
After that, you give it a good spin because, come on, you have to, and then you can either push it closed or you can do it the cool way. That is so much fun. After that, you can prime it by pulling it back and letting go or pushing forward because it has a spring return, and then you can fire once, or it's got slam fire. And I gotta say, the prime and snappiness of this blaster is so satisfying. It will never not be satisfying, and not to mention, it's reliable. You can see how fast I slam fired off those four shots and no cylinder skipping issues. My old strong arms used to have cylinder skipping issues, but this one and the Gen 2 that I have over there don't have any cylinder skipping issues. So it just goes to show, older blasters are better. Everybody already knows this, but I just want to reiterate that point that older generation nerf blasters have more potential and are built better than new ones. Why Hasbro? Bring this back. As for the trigger, it is also pretty well designed. It is a little bit smushy at the start, but then it pops nicely. And the cylinder actually rotates on the trigger pull, and I believe this is the first blaster that did that. I could be wrong, it could have been the Spectre, but I do think that this is the first blaster that had a cylinder that rotated on the trigger pull. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'm just speculating. I don't actually know. Oh, also there's a tactical rail on it, so you can do this. I love this blaster so much. Let's get on to the firing demo. Here's one thing I forgot to mention. You see these hooks on the bottom of the grips? They're there for a reason, mainly so that you can do this. I love this blaster! There we go. So! If I was doing a pistol round, you betcha you would see me with these two dual wielding in holsters. But with that said, what do I think of the Nerf strong arm? There's a reason why I say this is my favorite blaster ever, and why I think Nerf will never, ever, ever be able to recapture what this blaster did for me. It isn't just because it looks cool. It isn't just because it's comfortable. It isn't just because it is designed to be dual wield out of the box. It isn't just because it has slam fire. It isn't just because you can do this and play Nerf Russian Roulette with it for whatever reason. This blaster is the first way I saw the Nerf brand. I had seen Dart Blaster brands before, but never did I actually find interest in Nerf until I saw this blaster. And not this color scheme even, the Elite XD one, the white one with the blue stripe. That blaster looked cool. It was an interesting design, and I thought it was interesting. So I looked into it more, and only when I actually looked into it did I understand how cool Nerf actually was. The amount of different blasters they'd put out, the amount of different interesting and fun-looking designs they had brought to the table, but this one always looked the most interesting to me. This blaster, for whatever reason, got my attention more than anything else. Even the Strife, even the Long Shot, even the Rhino Fire, even the Hyper Fire or the Rapid Strike, the Strong Arm is the one that got me interested in nerfing. I got two of these for Christmas, and they were some of the coolest, most awesome things I'd ever seen at the time. Not to mention I got those with the Mastodon as well, and believe me, the Mastodon was the fun Christmas present that year. But genuinely, the ability to dual wield Strong Arms like this, out of the box, six shot revolvers that you could genuinely feel like a cowboy using and they just looked so futuristic and so cool. It was the most fun I had had playing with toy guns in my entire life. The two pistols, not even the big one. The two pistols did it for me. And because of these pistols, because of how fun they were to play with, on Christmas I spent the whole day doing this. Yeah! Doing it with these. Yeah. There's nothing else really like that. This was so cool. 
I love these so much that that is what really got me hooked on Nerf Blasters. You can thank the strong arm for generating all of this around me. I cannot praise this blaster enough because it does everything right. If I were to name a perfect blaster, this would be it. The trigger locks don't get annoying. In fact, I don't even know if there are trigger locks because it has slam fire. The slam fire is reliable. It's comfortable. It shoots rather hard. There are some inconsistencies as you saw in the firing demo, but all of those just come down to the air restrictor, which can be solved in minutes. Like not even like hours, minutes. Just open it, take the AR out, trim the dart posts, done. No spring upgrade required. Nothing like that. You've got a blaster that just works. I give this the absolute highest recommendation I can possibly give any foam dart blaster, and that is not an exaggeration. I love the strong arm so much that that is why I'm making this the Christmas special. This is a blaster that means way too much to me. I will never get rid of all my strong arms. I get I got rid of my last white strong arm. I gave it to Phase One Foam, and this collection just didn't feel the same without it. This is a blaster that I need to have in my collection for it to feel complete. And I am so happy that I now have two again because, genuinely, this is a blaster that you should have two of. Because if you're using a strong arm, you can do this. If you want to buy one of these, and I highly recommend it, I'll leave it in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and one last thing before I leave. Merry Christmas! <laughs> uh <laughs>